I'm just wondering if you could kind of go back to two months ago when you get got shut down in, in, in Toledo. Uh, you know, what kind of went into that? How much of a, a bummer was that at the time? And, and how are you feeling physically right now? There now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling healthy and strong. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of stunk uh, going down last year, but um, I think in a normal season it would have been a quicker recovery, but with just the timing of it and um, kind of just the scenario, it was just the best to um, shut down for the season and just get ready for next year. I think Al Avila had said that, that you and maybe Alex also went to see a bunch of specialists just to make sure it was nothing – more serious. Was there any concern that, that it could have been uh, something uh, more serious than just a, a mild uh, strain? No, it was just a, a mild strain in, the, in my uh, forearm. It was uh, like some inflammation and just stuff like that. It wasn't anything uh, too serious. Like I said, if it was a normal season, it wouldn't. But the recovery time would have been enough to where I would probably missed a, a few weeks of starts and then would have, got, would have been able to get back out there. And, and just what what's it been like? Uh, so far in Lakeland for you? And is this just a matter of getting a chance to be around teammates or, or what are you able to do? And, and uh, um, I, I've lived out here for the last uh, since I was drafted. So um, I can just take advantage of the facilities and um, being able to uh, play catch every day and um, getting a good routine. Thank you. Thanks, Evan. Next, we'll go to Jason Beck from MLB.com. Yeah, hey, Matt, thanks for doing this. Um, you know, kind of piggybacking off what uh, Evan was asking, you know, is it basically just a matter of, of working? Is there any throwing involved right now, or is it just working out and are you able to do anything in terms of pitching mechanics or, or working on anything like that? Um, yeah, I'm doing uh, mechanic stuff, um, playing catch, um, light catch um, through now into, into next year. So I'm just going to keep throwing and get my arms strong and, as healthy and um, as, as strong as I can get it for the next spring training. Do you know yet, will you be able to be at 100% and be able to fully work out when spring training starts next year, or is it too soon to tell? No, I'm, I'm 100% right now. Okay. And uh, lastly, for me, what was it like, you know, we've heard from different guys who were down there in Toledo about, you know, just getting the camp games together and kind of the repetitiveness of facing the same people, the same teammates, day after day. What was it like for you? And were there any tricks you were able to do to try to put any variety into it? Um, yeah, it was tough. It was um, tough for everyone because you haven't done it before. And um, I think the hardest part was uh, um, pitching at your own teammates and um, not having enough players to um, fill a whole lineup. So you're facing the same five guys for, you know, five innings. And if they get – they see you multiple times week after week. So I think uh, – just trying to be different and trying to um, not fall into a pattern and all that stuff. So it was good teachable moments, but uh, it was definitely hard, but a good experience at the same time. Yeah, I was wondering if it, if it forced you to work on anything different than maybe during a regular minor league schedule that, that you might not do in terms of either sequences or, or secondary pitches or whatnot. Yeah, I think all that stuff kind of went into it. It was all just a learning curve, and I think we uh, did pretty well with it. Great. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Jason. Next, we'll go to Cody Staven Higgin from The Athletic. Hey, Matt, when you look at the course of this year, no minor leagues, um, you, get, you get hurt and get shut down. Obviously, it's not ideal, but have there been any positive takeaways for you these past few months? Um, yeah, I think um, I was able to kind of take a step back. I've been uh, working on my, my mechanics, and I've been um, getting to a place where I think it's going to be more consistent, and I'll be able to just – take a step back and um, evaluate it and um, get ready for next year. Okay. It might seem far off, but how excited are you for next year, especially after seeing guys like, like T Tarek and Casey get a chance in the majors uh, this season? Yeah, I'm excited. I think it's going to come a lot, a uh, lot sooner than we think. And um, before we know it, it'll be here and we'll uh, get after it. All right. Um, yeah. Seeing them pitch in the bigs this year, did that make it feel more real for you at all? Just knowing that, that your chance might be coming soon? Yeah, for sure. I was uh, happy to see them make it, and I was happy to um, at uh, everything they learned and how how well they did, and um, seeing them grow in there, and it's just going to make them better for next year. So that uh, kind of pumps me up. All right, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Cody. Next, we'll go to Nick Austin from Tigers.com. 
Yeah, just curious if you could comment on the one area, maybe both personally uh, and professionally, so basically on and off the field that you've seen yourself mature the most since uh, being with the organization. Um, I think recently I've taken um, a step in with uh, kind of like my diet stuff and my workouts and uh, my work ethic. And right now I think I'm just um, just more mature in that area of uh, getting all my work done and, and being more precise and just um, a lot more. Um, routine oriented. Okay. All right. Uh, go to Lynn Henning from the Detroit News. Yes, uh, Matt, we spoke a couple of weeks ago, but uh, it's interesting to hear you talk about uh, a couple of things here this morning. First of all, I didn't know that you live full time in Lakeland. Um, have you got a place down where grasslands are somewhere down there? Yeah, I live on the north side. I have a place down in here and I can uh, stay at for spring training and all that stuff. And I'm taking advantage of it right now to uh, work out here with uh, Steve, our strength coach, and Corey, our, our rehab our coordinator. Is, do you own a home there? Yeah. What, you said it's on the north side? Yes. Just to give us a little sense here, because we all know the community so well, where, where is it essentially located without being precise here? I don't want to ask you for your home address, but... Oh, uh, it's just, um, I don't know, it's by, it's like 12 minutes uh, from the stadium and like uh, not too far in a private community out there. Up off Lakeland Hills Boulevard? Um, it's a, somewhere called like Bridgewater or something like that. It's a, yeah, it's like 12 minutes towards the freeway. Oh, so you've you got a home or a condo or how, how does that? Yeah, work? I have a house. A house, really? So that, that's your, that is now your full-time home, Lakeland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I go home sometimes for for holidays and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I uh, do most of my stuff here. You you must have uh, had a little more of an endearment to Lakeland than some of us knew. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. Um, another thing here, you've been watching some of these uh, young kids throwing 101 uh, in the playoffs, I know. Um, where does your stuff sit when you look at some of those uh, younger arms that that have been lighting it up out there and um, how does that make you feel in comparison oh uh, i think it's um it's good to see all these guys uh throwing and all that stuff um i think they're all doing very well and they're all unique in their own ways and i think um the way i throw and the way i pitch it fits uh very well into kind of like that game style and uh having a good strong curveball and being able to throw a nice change up off that but uh you know, I think everyone's different, and it's good to see those guys uh, do what they're doing because it's, uh, it's very special. Did you get any read from the analytics guys this year on, on how anything changed in terms of spin ratios or, or any of the breakdown there uh, analytically on, on your stuff this year, Matt? Um, I'm actually not sure about that. I don't um, get too far into it. I think we're, we're stepping it up in that sense, but um, I kind of was more focused on um, – what I was doing just in game to game and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, for now, you're going to pretty much stick with three pitches. I know we talked about that a little bit, but, but is there again, a serious contemplation of, of throwing a, a slider or a, a, a cutter or anything here that uh, you might be thinking about? Um, yeah. I thought about uh, messing playing with it around a little bit, but right now I think I'm going to stick to uh, um, getting my three pitches where they need to be. And, um, and then, always have that kind of in the back pocket when I need it. Thank you. No problem. Excellent. Uh, we'll go to Evan Petzold from the Free Press next. Hey, Matt. Just uh, curious about, you know, spending time at, uh, you know, both summer camp at Comerica, but, but also, you know, in Toledo there with uh, Torkelson and Green. Um, I'm sure you faced them at least a couple of times. I mean, what, what are those guys like from an offensive perspective? I mean, we talk a lot about the pitching here, the young pitching, but – and the young bats, you know, what's your perspective on on those two players? Um, I think they're doing really well. Um, we have a new uh, coordinator, um, Kenny Graham, and he's doing a great job with them. And um, I think our hitting is coming around very, very well. And I think um, just how you think of us with a, our young pitching core, I think just a, a year or two after that, there's going to be a very strong hitting core coming through. So it's going to be exciting. For sure. And last one for me, just real quick, um, you know, seeing Tarek and, and, and Casey really get their opportunities up there, um, they struggled through some things and they had to, you know, they had to adjust on the fly. Did that give you a different perspective on maybe what your expectations are going to be when you get up there? Or did you never really have any, any expectations like that? I don't know if that 
if that question makes sense to you, but that's, that's kind of the, just from the expectation standpoint, at least. Yeah, I think um, for, for what the, the season was and uh, the circumstances, I think they did fine. Um, uh, they got out there and they got their feet wet and, you know, that's really all, all it was for because they, they're going to come back um, from this off season, know exactly what they need to do. And they're going to probably come in here even better and probably a lot better to be honest. And they're going to figure it out and they'll be, they'll be really good. So I think for me, it was just uh, seeing them out there. It was, it was, I was very happy and it made a, gave me joy to see how, uh, how well they did. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. We got time for one or two more. Uh, we'll go back to Lynn from the Detroit news. Matt, have you got any plans to do anything recreationally or on the pleasure side here uh, when camp ends November 8th? Uh, I know you're, you talked about going home for the holidays, and I realize that there's something called COVID here that sort of knocks in the head a lot of plans probably for circulating and traveling and so forth. But have you got anything that you're excited about personally here to do uh, once camp uh, finally adjourns here in a, in a week or so? Um, no, I don't have any plans. I'm just going to go home for, uh, for the holidays and, um, I'll stay here for, and work out, um, probably till in the new year and then, um, get ready for next year. I think uh, I already had too much time off during, uh, the Toledo yeah. season and, uh, this season. So, um, we're just going to get right back to it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, last question. We'll go to Evan Woodbury from M Live. Hey Matt, just a quick question. Uh, this has been such a weird year and there's still uncertainty about what next year is going to look like. I know as a young pitcher, there's an inch progression where you go a little bit more each year. Have they talked to you at all or do you have any idea of how that's going to work next year as far as from an innings perspective for you or for any other of the other young guys? Um, no, I, I'm not sure how it's going to work next year, but um, um, if it's up to me, I'm going to throw as, uh, as many innings as I can and, um, you know, do as well as I can. So, I don't think there's any uh, restrictions from um, going into 2021, but uh, I guess we're just going to see how it goes. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, everyone, for being with us today. We'll uh, Thank see you, you later. No problem. Thank you.